Hi, and welcome back to this Monday edition of Focal Point. AFR for talk this second hour of this Monday edition. Brian Fisher is my name. The program is Focal Point. The network is AFR Talk. Great to have you in the conversation today. Rob, you might want to grab uh, clip number one, the Palin clip. Let's get that one ready to go. Uh, a couple of quick items before we jump back into content. Just to show you how, uh, how we grow them back in my home state of Idaho, we're not just all about Mr. Potato Head. We're about some other things, too. Here is a woman, that the only place in the United States where you can do what's called base jumping, B-A-S-E stands for something. I forget exactly what it stands for. But you can just jump off into space off of these structures, wearing a parachute, pull the parachute halfway down. Now, there's a bridge goes into Twin Falls, Idaho, called over the, or the, called the Perrine or Perrine Bridge over the Snake River. It's about a 1,000-foot drop or something like that. And it's the only place in the United States where you don't need a permit to jump. You want to jump, strap on a parachute, go jump. You don't have to get clearance from anybody. So here's a woman who wanted to celebrate her birthday. Uh, an Idaho woman wanted to celebrate her birthday by jumping off this Perrine Bridge. And she did so uh, with a... A professional base jumper in a tandem jump. So he jumped with her and pulled a, the uh, parachute for both of them. His name was Sean Schumann. Now, uh, she originally, this woman wanted to have a, a calmer birthday. She thought about skydiving, but it was too expensive. So she said, I'm just going to have a quiet, calm birthday. And her family talked her into doing this base jumping thing. Here's the deal. She's 102 years old. This woman... Dorothy Custer, 102 years old, base jumping. That's a free form with nothing but a parachute off a bridge over the Snake River Canyon. And George H.W. Bush, I mean, I commend him. He's jumping out of airplanes, doing the doing the skydiving thing, but got nothing on Dorothy Custer at 102. Uh, then came across this article today. Uh, you know, I live down in Mississippi now. Drove across the Tallahatchie River when I first came to Mississippi. First time driving a car. Drove across a bridge. There it is, Tallahatchie River. So I'm, I'm, I'm driving across the bridge, the Tallahatchie River Bridge. I'm driving across it. Well, it turns out the Tallahatchie. So I immediately flash back to that Bobby Gentry song, 1967, about the Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Well, it's the 46th anniversary of that song. It was released this summer. In fact, it was recorded in July of 1967 at Capitol uh, Records by Bobby Gentry, who's a Mississippi uh, native, lived over in the Delta in Choctaw uh, County, or Chickasaw, Chickasaw County, rather. And so she uh, had done a demo, got picked up by Capitol Records. So July 10, 1967, she goes into Studio C at Capitol Records, and she record, owed, recorded Ode to Billy Joe, just her and the guitar. Now, a guitar, man, I, <laughs> I guess I've adapted. It's not a guitar, it's a guitar. So, holy smokes, I hope Debbie's not listening. I'm going to be in big trouble. Because Debbie promised me if I ever start sounding like I grew up in the South, she's going to kick me under the, uh, under the table in the leg. So anyway, so uh, she goes into Studio C and plays her own guitar and records this song that she wrote, Ode to Billy Joe, there is an arranger by the name of Jimmy Haskell. He came in. He added two cellos and four violins. It was a seven-minute song. When it was recorded, they cut it down to four by the time it was uh, done. So everybody's wanted to know for 46 years, what did Billy Joe McAllister throw off the Tallahatchie Bridge? And why did he jump off the Tallahatchie Bridge? And this, uh, Debbie reminded me that she is listening, so... I must be very careful from this point forward. But anyway, so, so everybody's asking the question, well, why, uh, what did he throw off the Tallahatchie Bridge? And why did he jump off the Tallahatchie Bridge to his death? And where in the world is Choctaw Ridge? And uh, this article I read in today's uh, Daily Journal talks about this. And here's what Bobby Gentry says. She's the one that wrote the song. She's the one that sang the song. So everybody wants to know, what did he throw off? Why did he jump? She says this. She, this is, she wrote the song. I don't know what was thrown off the Tallahatchie Bridge. 
So she doesn't know. She wrote the song, and she doesn't know. She doesn't know why Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. All she knows is she made a boatload of money uh, off of that song, uh, wound up. Uh, by the way, there is an actual Tala bridge over the Tallahatchie River in Money, Mississippi, about 10 miles north of Greenwood, near where she grew up. That bridge collapsed in 1972, but it has since been rebuilt. So uh, that was Bobby Gentry's knock, knock the Beatles right off the number one spot on the chart. She wound up marrying Bill Hera, who was a casino mogul in Reno, and later married the uh, singer and comedian Jim Stafford. He was the guy that did the song Spiders and Snakes. Uh, so that is all you need to know about Chickasaw County Bobby Gentry uh, song. Now, I wanted to play the uh, Sarah Palin clip one. We're not going to have time for that before the break, so we'll save that for uh, right after the break. Uh, you know, we've been following the plunging fortunes of MSNBC, and I, I, I think there's a reason for that, that nobody's interested in their bias any longer. It's, it's just too much uh, vitriol. It's too much hatred for people on the right. It's too much racism. For people on the right, where whites are constantly being accused of being racist just by, because of the color of their skin. So MSNBC is judging us based on the color of our skin. That's the thing that Martin Luther King said you must not do. He said, I look forward to the day when my children will be judged not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. People have had it up to here with people being judged on the color of their skin, and that's how whites are treated on MSNBC. That's the most racist network uh, on television. And people are just tired of it. They had it up to here. It's opinion. There's no journalism at all. It's just all opinion. In fact, the head of NBC has come out. They've dropped 20, 20 points over the last year. And the president of NBC, MSNBC, came out yesterday and said, look, we're not about breaking news. We're not about news. Our brand is not about news. Uh, so it's just all about uh, opinion. And if people are looking for breaking news, good luck getting it on MSNBC. That's not what we're about. What we're about is racism. That's what we're about. Uh, we're about trashing Christians. We're about trashing everything that made America great. And the American people have just had it. That's why their numbers are totally uh, in the tank. This Chris Hayes came along, replaced Ed Schultz. I forget who it was. Somebody on the left called him a dead raccoon today, Chris Hayes. His number is completely in the tank. He's pulling Rachel Maddow down uh, uh, into the basement. She's kind of their feature uh, program. By the way, her blog uh, went after me for the things that I said, went after me over the weekend for the things that I said about a biblical view of roles in the home. So, you know, and that's why I believe you listen to AFR Talk. That's why you listen to Focal Point, because you're looking for a place where you not only can get news, but opinion. You don't want just opinion. You want news. You want the perspective you hear to be rooted and grounded in the facts, to be rooted and grounded in history. You don't want everything just made up and manufactured and fabricated. Nobody's got a taste for that. You can't, nobody's going to want to consume that uh, for very long. And that's why credibility is so important to us. You know, everything we bring to you, even if we're talking about what Billy Joe McAllister threw off the Tallahatchie Bridge, we're going to make sure we've researched it, bring you the straight goods. The answer is nobody knows. Bobby Gentry doesn't know. Focal Point AF for Talk, back in June.